summers on record in Connecticut, and it wasn't just homes that saw flooding, but cars too. Consumer investigative reporter Cassidy Williams explains what you should be checking to make sure there isn't hidden water in your car. There's been little sun getting through any sunroof this summer. And when Gladys Fuentes from Waterbury went for a drive a few weeks ago, she found something else had made its way in. I noticed when I made a left turn, I started to hear like a swishing sound. Water was pooling at the foot of the passenger side of her 2016 Nissan Rogue. This is all wet. If you touch it, it's all wet. A trip to the dealership revealed it would cost more than $4,400 to replace the waterlogged and moldy liner and carpets. I can't drive that car with mold in it. I'm high risk for esophageal cancer. I'm supposed to drive a moldy car around? The dealership told Fuentes the cause of the leak was plugged sunroof drains. Her car is out of warranty, and Nissan tells the I-Team this wouldn't be covered by a warranty anyway because it is not the result of a manufacturer defect. Every sunroof has at least two drains so that if water gets in, instead of the water going inside of your car, it drains out behind the tires. If water isn't coming out, that means your drains might be plugged. Plugged drains is an issue Curtis D'Addario is all too familiar with. We get some cars in here that are covered in black mold on the inside. D'Addario says he often has people coming into his East Hartford shop who have no idea sunroof drains should be checked as part of regular maintenance. Normally, the little drain is not hard to get to when it's up in the air. You just take an air blower, give it a little pressure, and it clears them. Fuentes says she didn't know to check the drains because it's not in the owner's manual. The I team looked through her entire manual, and sunroof drains aren't mentioned. We've reached out to Nissan about Fuentes' case. They sent us a statement that reads in part, the removal of debris from a vehicle's roof is a proactive measure that can help prevent sunroof issues. Nissan emphasizes the importance of regular maintenance. What I'm supposed to do now, I have no idea. Fuentes thinks this should be included in the owner's manual. So she's taking a rain check on repairs for now as she decides whether it's worth the money to fix. When I asked Nissan directly why sunroof drains are not mentioned in the manual, a spokesperson said the owner's manual does advise drivers to remove water, snow, ice, and sand from the moonroof and surrounding areas. You can read Nissan's full statement on the Channel 3 app. For the I-Team, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Cassidy.